Hello and welcome to the E14 Toy Box. My name's Rob and thank you as always for joining me on this video. I'm going to keep it short and sweet today in terms of intro because between audio and video issues and trying to light this shithole of an area, I'm losing my patience for the entire exercise. So today, I'm going to be able to strike while the iron's hot. I've actually got my hands early on in its release in the UK on a pair of Harley Quinn and the Gotham Girls boosters. In fact, I have two pairs. So I'm going to unbox two of them at a time. So two episodes are going to be actually pretty current because for once I've been into my local game shop, Forbidden Planet in London, and they actually have stock of the newest set within the week it came out. So fuck me backwards. Let's, let's celebrate. So um, let's do two of the boosters right away. So I've taken the liberty of removing the tape on a couple of these to make my life easier. I'm hoping for Zatanna as a super rare and I'm always going to be happy with a chase. Basically any of the bombshell stuff is also going to go down well. So there's very little that can actually displease me in terms of stuff that comes out of this brick. So let's find out with no further ado what I get so I can look into some new equipment. So first one. Oh, hello. That's pretty cool. I'll go through in order of rarity. So from most common to least. So first things first, I have here. Knockout. Pretty beautiful sculpt. It's one of the Secret Six by the looks of it. She appears in Secret Six number five for the first time. She has the calculator team ability, which means she's a wild card. Zero range, one lightning bolt. Uh, she's 50 points for five clicks, so let's talk through her dial. So she has three traits. Uh, her real name is Kay. She has Apocalypse, Female Furies, Secret Six, and Suicide Squad keywords, so she's pretty versatile in terms of team build. She's number six, common. Only six of us. Stealth, but only if your force has three or more characters. She can move through Hindering Terrain, but only if your force has five or more characters. Modify all combat values plus one, but only if your force has exactly six characters. So she, again, versatility for this piece. She, depending on which build you put her in, three, five, or six, has different team abilities, uh, different abilities on her dial. Um, what part of Suicide Squad didn't you understand? When knockout is KO'd, reduce your action token uh, total by one until the end of your next turn. So she makes you less uh, active until the next end of next turn if you've been KO'd as part of this force. Uh, Will of Apocalypse, when knockout hits, until your next turn she has protected, outwit, opposing perplex, exploit weakness, and penetrating psychic blast. So she's, wow, she's really tough against other characters' abilities if she manages to get hit in. Now, combat values aren't amazing, but let's go through the dial anyway. So she has charge followed by sidestep, two clicks followed by three clicks, super strength for two clicks, Toughness followed by combat reflexes for three clicks. And then she has uh, Empower followed by Close Combat Expert. So her dial looks like that. Camera. That's the one. It looks like that. So not a bad start. She's, you know, common piece, but at the same time, a nice one. Next looks generic. Mercenary. I like the sculpt, though, even though it's a generic get a zoom in on that camera that would be great there is nothing else for you to focus on just fucking do it thank you so uh a rather nice sculpt it's got a bit of a gi jane kind of feel uh you could probably make a nice ripley out of that or a vasquez from uh, aliens uh trait i give up you guys are looking for help uh if your force is only characters named mercenary after resolutions, KO all friendly characters named Mercenary. So I guess they're only once you've knocked out everybody else, then they just become, they just piss off. Fair enough. So you have to basically make, I guess from that wording, you get basically have to make sure they're not the last people on your team. Uh, stealth and sidestep on the dial, uh, willpower and range combat experts. So not a massive amount of things going on on that dial so 15 points for three clicks but like i say a nice sculpt if you've got the 15 points to spare you could also make a decent sarah connor out of that because she's got very much got that vibe so if you want to make a terminator set that's a good way of doing it maybe stick the grid in there 
from uh, Trinity War. Next, getting a slightly more significant Big Barda. Big Barda. Big Barda. Zoom in, you prick. I'm not even cutting this now. So just I want you to see what I'm dealing with. Case in point, I'm blurry. So no keywords. A soldier. No team symbols. Five range, one lightning bolt. Groovy. Big Barda, 125 points for six clicks. Uh, has a box out on damage, which I'll go through. When it plays nice. All right, anyway. To hell with it. I'm just going to have to keep going. Big Barda has uh, Indomitable, six range, one lightning bolt, Superman em enemies, key uh, team ability, Apocalypse, Female Furies, and Warrior. Uh, Will of Apocalypse, so she too is, um, when she hits, she has Protected Outwit, Opposing Perplex, Exploit Weakness, and Penetrating Psychic Blast. The damage box out, which is on clicks one, two, and three, is leadership. When Big Barda uses it and succeeds, choosing power or enhancement, she can use the chosen power this turn. Quite useful. Uh, and then the dial reads like so. Two clicks of running shot, two clicks of charge, and two clicks of flurry. So that's the top half there. So two clicks of penetrating psychic blast, four clicks of super strength, two clicks of invincible, two clicks of invulnerability, two clicks of toughness. The three clicks of damage box out, followed by three blank clicks. 125 points for six clicks. Not too shabby at all. If you stick her with a knockout. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, you stick her with knockout, it's going to do quite well. Uh, okay, so I have a pretty good booster in the I have two commons, an uncommon, a rare, and something else. So sometimes I just get the rare and I have to be lucky, have to be grateful for that. Uh, which is fine, I, I am. 135 points for six clicks. Batman enemy team ability. Prometheus. Now this is an awesome, awesome sculpt. Look at that. Very, very cool. Bit of translucent plastic, gotta love it. Real name unknown. Injustice Gang and Secret Society of Supervillains. Download a counter to your abilities. Free. Choose a standard attack and damage power. Prometheus can use these powers until your next turn. So much like Trinity War Batman... Uh, you can have an uh, attack and damage power, attack and damage power. So you can have one of each. You can have blades. You can just chuck blades claws into the mix and range co and close combat expert. Bloody Nora. Um, six clicks of sidestep. No damage uh, attack clicks to speak of, but nonetheless, um, three clicks of toughness, followed by three clicks of super senses, three clicks of perplex, and then three blank clicks. 135 points. Very, very nice indeed. Sculpt looks a little bit like it's been bent back, but then I can't be sure that's not just a lean forwards. It does look like it could go either way. Finally, a super rare, which is rather nice. Uh, this is ridiculous, Dial. Uh, 200 points for 8 clicks. Harley Quinn, 59A it looks like. You'd know that if it was able to zoom properly. There we go, lovely. So, eight clicks. She has an Arkham Asylum, Black Lantern Core, and Red Lantern Core keywords. Seven range, two lightning bolts. Beautiful, ridiculously beautiful sculpt. Translucent plastic everywhere. Need new pants after this. Not really. Super rare, 200 points. Indomitable, flyer. Uh... Trait, death, steel energy with close or ranged attacks. When an opposition character is KO'd, after resolutions, heal her one click. So she heals on steel energy and KO. Um, attack box out, which appears on clicks 5, 6, and 7. Giant arm wrestling match. Free. If Harley Quinn has no action tokens, choose an adjacent opposing character of 150 points or less. Both players roll a D6 and add their character's printed damage value to their result. If, their f if your final result is greater... You may place that opposing character anywhere on the map and deal it one penetrating damage. Otherwise, that opponent may place Harley Quinn into an adjacent square and deal her one penetrating damage. So, wow. So, two, uh, D6 plus damage value, and whoever wins gets to deal one penetrating damage to the other character, and in Harley's case, gets to throw them around anywhere on the map. Ridiculous. 
Um, rage, attack box out, which appears... Oh, sorry. So movement box out, it actually clicks 3, 4, and 5. So I made that. I made a mistake there. Um, so that's... Just let that focus in. So that's on clicks 3, 4, and 5. Otherwise, it's hypersonic speed and sidestep either side. Look at those combat values. That's ridiculous. So uh, attack is 2 clicks of poison, 2 clicks of penetrating psychic blast, 3 clicks of an attack box out poison. When Harley Quinn uses it, she deals penetrating damage. Uh, and then a blank click. Eight clicks of defense ability, so impervious for two, invulnerability for four, and then two clicks of regen. And then uh, two clicks of perplex, four clicks, five clicks of damage box out. I'm going to furadicate you. When Harley Quinn hits an opposing character for the rest of the game, if that character can use invincible or impervious, that character can't use those powers but can use invulnerability instead. Bloody hell. She is awesome. I think it's going to have to be special to win Pick of the Pools for this episode because this is a beautiful, beautiful sculpt. It's an awesome, awesome dial. It's definitely a keeper for me. Um, that's box number one, a high bar to set for the first of the two uh, boosters that I'm going to pull from today. So, bloody Nora. <laughs> How you top that one, I don't know. You get Zatanna, hopefully. Uh, and then that way I've kind of hit a decent chunk of stuff. Um, not a bad start at all, in the slightest. Um, so we shall see what this one brings. I'm just taking the prices off because it just feels weird. I don't know why. They've gone up a bit in the UK. don't know if that's the case in the States. Anyway, booster number two. See a Harley. Oh, okay. So I've spoiled. <laughs> I've spoiled the excitement of the rarest pull. So those are quite. There's some nice ones in here. There's some uh, decent pulls. Nothing, nothing earth-shattering, as tabletop teacher is fond of saying. Uh, but some cool stuff, including a prime. All right. Let's see what we got. So break down this booster. So, most common is number two, the Joker. Don't know why he's from the West Country. Uh, that's interesting. So, his significant appearance is as the Hyper Time figure in 2002 in Legendary DC Hero Clicks. So, that's a bit meta. Um, so, he's 80 points, six range with a single lightning bolt, Arkham Asylum, Gotham City Underworld, and monster keywords. Uh, attack box out on clicks one, two, and three. So let's stick that up so you can see. Two clicks of sidestep, four blank clicks, five blank clicks, see seven clicks for 80 points. Batman enemy team ability, obviously. Um, the first three clicks are poison. When the Joker uses it, damage dealt is penetrating. Two clicks of poison normally, and then two clicks of energy explosion. Uh, three clicks of mastermind, two clicks of willpower, and then. Uh, two clicks of oh sorry two more clicks of mastermind and then outwit on one and four and then perplex on two and three and then blanks for the three a nice for a common that's a nice points and a decent dial that's quite pleasantly surprising next we have a prime uh, in so much as here's the variant of number B number three B uh, his name is Kirk DePaul Manhunter. So he's, I've never seen this character before. He's from Power Company number one in 2002. He is 65 points for five, uh, six clicks. Secret Society of Supervillains and Assassin keywords. He's got a gun. I like that. You don't see those very often in Hero Clicks. I suppose you don't need to that often. Um, six, five range and one lightning bolt. Dial looks like so. So he has a trait, talent, training, and genetic design. Free, choose close combat expert, combat reflexes, or range combat expert, energy shield deflection. Coat de Paul Manhunter can use the chosen powers until your next turn. And then no one should have to live an unwanted legacy. Modify damage plus one when attacking only opposing characters with the same name as another character on the map. So if it's uh, a character who doubles up somewhere or you get two of the same, then uh, he can actually do damage higher damage against them uh, so then he's got 
dial looks like so. Anyway, it looks like that. Four clicks to sidestep, two blank ones, four precision strike, two blades claws, two, four toughness, two regen, and then four of his damage box out. Sorry, that's the modified damage plus one, attacking only opposing characters with the same name. It's dark enough in here that I can't tell damage powers from traits, uh, which is a real pisser. Next, another common, but it's common enough in DC anyway. It turns up bloody everywhere. It's Batman. I'm definitely in the right mood for a video, aren't I? <laughs> uh, five clicks for 65 points. Five range, one lightning bolt. Batman family keywords, as uh, team ability, as you'd expect. No team abilities there. Didn't miss one. Batman family, Gotham City, Justice League, and Detective. He's a Bruce Wayne. He's a nice sculpt, actually. I will say that. Um, he's got the sort of classic Batman blue and grey, almost animated series colours. Um, maybe slightly darker in the animated series, understandably. Uh, so he's five clicks for 65 points. His dial looks like so. Choose sidestep or willpower. Batman can use the chosen power this turn. That's a trait as a free action. Uh, he has one click of running shot, two flurries, and then two leap climbs. Nothing on his attack. One toughness, four combat reflexes, one outwit, uh, three outwit on clicks one, four, and five. Considering how many Batman pieces I have, I can't imagine this one would find its way into a build, but you never know. Just because, if nothing else, Trinity War is always there. Next, I finally have a Bombshells piece on second booster. So I'm happy about that. Obviously, it sounds it. Um, Harley Quinn boosted a uh, Bombshell. So she's an uncommon. Six clicks for 75 points. Four range, one lightning bolt. She's in Bombshells number four. Uh, this is her dial. Fuck it. It's got a trait. When Harley Quinn makes an attack token, you can opposing character make give her a bombshell token. If she has two action tokens, remove two bombshell tokens, then make a close attack as a free action. So the bombshell tokens build up when she makes an attack, whether she hits or not by the looks of it. Um, there's a movement box out, which you would be able to see if my equipment wasn't so shit. For the first two clicks, which gives her charge and the flight ability, uh, four clicks of flurry, two clicks of quake, two of precision strike, two of poison, two of super senses, four combat reflexes, three perplex, three outwit, 75 points, four uh, range, one lightning bolt, bombshells and Gotham City keywords, no team abilities to speak of, moving on. Anyway, last one, rare, um, 43A, Harley Quinn. So this is a nice sculpt actually, not one I've ever seen the art style of before, so I'll get it a little bit closer, sort of almost like a kind of Betty Boop sort of pin-up girl thing, which I quite like. Um, detail work's not bad compared to the model on the back. Uh, five clicks for 50 points, five lightning bolts, one, no, five, one, one lightning bolt, five range. That would be very odd. Um, five lightning bolts, one range would be the point. Uh, calculator, so wild card. Indomitable for 50 points, which is impressive. Didn't actually think to check that on others. Um, no, none of them had it. Uh, no. This is her thing there, like so. Again, don't understand why this is tricky. It's the only thing in shot. Focus in on it. Three sidestep, two blanks, five blanks, five super senses. Perplex and probability control interspersed for two, for two clicks each, and then close combat expert. Traits, only six of us. Stealth, but only if your force has three or more characters. Can move through hindering terrain unhindered, but only if your force has five or more characters. Modify all combat values plus one, but only if your force has exactly six characters. So she's part of the secret six. She's got Arkham Asylum and Suicide Squad keywords, uh, keywords as well. And in the same way, what part of Suicide Squad didn't you understand? When Harley Quinn is KO'd, reduce your action token total by one, minimum one, until the end of your next turn. So again, she kind of pairs up nicely with uh, with the knockout one that we pulled very early on in the video so that's the two boosters obviously i'm already teased it but i mean i can't give it to any other pick of the pulls except for 59a harley quinn that is beautiful beyond every measure and i look forward to putting her in the game and rolling like a pudding so i get my ass handed to me uh well thank you for persevering if you've got this far with the e14 toy box i'm really just 
so bored of this crap with video equipment. Do you suffer from similar pains? Let me know in the comments below, uh, because it would be nice to know I'm not alone. Um, yeah, so pick of the pools is Harley Quinn. Two more um, boosters from Harley Quinn and the Gotham Girls to come, and then I'm probably going to throw this camera out the pissing window. Thank you for watching the Evil Teen Toy Box. Bye for now.